everyone, I'm Jess and welcome to Jess Science, science for everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the Stroop Effect. It's called the Stroop Effect because it was named after John Ridley Stroop, who published about in the 1930s. He was the first person to publish it in English, and so for us, the name seems to have stuck. It's looking at one of the most fascinating parts of our human bodies, the brain. The brain is amazing, it is always doing lots of things at once, and that's what this looks at a little bit. So I've got a few little challenges for you, and this is something that you can try and do at home as well. First thing, we're going to be reading the names of the colors that I've written out here. So I'm going to focus just on the paper to make it a little bit easier. But we're going to read it out and we're going to try and go a little bit quickly. Here we go. Black, green, blue, red, yellow, blue, green, red, black, yellow. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Next, we're going to be looking at the color of the crayon. So just say the color of the crayon, and again, we'll go down the list as quickly as we can. Here we go. Black, green, blue, red, yellow, blue, green, red, black, yellow. All right, again, pat yourselves on the back. Now, lastly, it's going to get a little bit more difficult. This is going to be saying the color of the crayon that it was written in, not the word itself. So for this first one, it says black, but we want to say blue. Now the reason why this is so challenging is because our brains are processing lots of information at the same time. So part of our brain's processing the word here of how to say it, which is black, and another part is thinking about the color of it. And because these two things don't match up, it makes it a lot harder than you would think. All right, so we're going to go down the list. We're going to try and do it quickly. Uh, if you're able to proceed beyond me, please do so. I'm probably going to get stopped at some point. All right, here we go. Remember the color of the crayon. Blue, red, black, yellow, green, red, blue, black, green, yellow. <laughs> now I bet I could do that a lot quicker and it probably helps that it's upside down so it takes me a little longer to actually read the word. But give this a try. You can write it out yourselves, try different combinations, try practicing, see if you can get even better and try it out with your family and friends. The goal is to try and be able to say the color that it's written in as quickly as you can. You can even time yourselves. And that's been Jess Science. If you like this, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!